guys Susan welcome to the conclusion of my inquiry I'm just gonna set the camera down hopefully we'll get a good angle okay so I guess the first thing that I want to say about my inquiry is that it went really well and I was really pleased with the results of it um, to recap what I've learned um, one of my questions was, is biogas technology feasible for global use? And I found that my initial hypothesis was kind of um, pessimistic. I didn't really think it could happen just because the uh, fuel industry is such a huge thing in the world. And uh, if that were to go under because of something like biogas or other um, environment, environmentally friendly alternatives, then our economy would lose a huge portion of its income. So I thought that that wasn't going to be very possible. But then upon further analysis, I found that Canadians are just starting to get into this um, biogas technology and we're seeing plants come up in Ontario, New Brunswick, we're also seeing it in Alberta, and in BC with our Cedar Road landfill. So those initiatives are definitely picking up steam in Canada and I also learned that they have basically been in countries like Germany, Switzerland, and one other one that I forget at the moment, but they've been in those countries in Europe for about 10 years now, which is a significant amount of time and uh, that's something that I didn't know before. So all that's basically left is for North America to catch up to Europe and to countries who are the leaders in the biogas initiative. So I concluded that it is going to be globally feasible to use biogas technologies on a global scale. However, I still am supporting my earlier assumption that the fuel industry is not going to give up easily. So I'm thinking that it's going to be about 30 years before we can see any real significant change in using biogas versus oil and non-renewable resources for fuel. Okay. All right. So, how does biogas work? Well, you can refer to my video for that one. Let's give you a little recap. Um, biogas is basically produced from waste or animal manure, and it goes into a storage area where it's filtered into a digester, and the digester sucks out all the air and the, the bacteria is allowed to attack the waste materials and basically convert it to methane, which is stored or um, changed into something that's called digestrate. So that's how biogas works. And I found no evidence that biogas could be harmful for the environment. Um, I did pretty extensive Google searching, and I also did some searches on academic online. Um, and when I searched those words, just, nothing came up. I found it very frustrating after a while, but then I started thinking, well, maybe there isn't anything wrong with it. And based on what I knew from my inquiry into how biogas works, I really can't see any possibility of contamination unless there's a malfunction with the plant itself or it was just a general reference to the harmful effects of methane in the atmosphere. So those, that was pretty much the conclusion that I came to, is that biogas has only positive effects for the environment, and uh, there's nothing really negative about it, so I'd really like to see it emerge in the future. And I was thinking about one thing that I could possibly um, look further into, maybe for another inquiry, maybe for just a personal status, satisfying my own curiosity. Um, but I would like to know how we can raise public awareness of biogas technologies. Like I know prior to this I'd read a couple newspaper articles and something in my head clicked and was like, oh, biogas. That would be interesting to kind of think about. But that was only until very recently in Canada that most some Canadians are getting this, oh, biogas exists. What is biogas? So I, w I would like to know how we can raise awareness, how we can reach out maybe to the media and I was thinking about incorporating that into the classroom as well. How can we get the children and the next generation prepared to um, embrace these kinds of initiatives? 
So that's a question that I'd like to develop for further inquiries. And uh, yeah, it's been a pleasant experience learning about this, and I'm happy that everything worked out well. Anyway, good luck with everything, and that's the end of my presentation.